What's up guys? It's your girl Em and I'm back with another video. Yes, once again I am in the kitchen. This is my second cooking video of the day being released because I roasted the chicken and then I want to show you how to use that great leftover roast chicken yeah. as another meal. Vaughn is playing the game over here so if you hear him, you know, he's Darling. playing the game. But what I'm going to be making today is chicken and rice soup. Super easy, super simple. A lot of this stuff you're probably already going to have in your pantry or your refrigerator. So it's a very, very simple, quick recipe to do. It'll probably take about 30 minutes or so with the chopping of the vegetables and everything. So let me go ahead and show you guys my ingredients. I have equal parts. Carrot, celery, and onion, minced garlic, about two of each, and then one onion. Minced garlic, I've got parsley, black pepper, rosemary, thyme, sage, onion powder, <laughs> garlic powder, bay leaves, sea salt, uh, chicken broth, olive oil, and about a cup of rice already washed, and then look look at all of this beautiful leftover chicken now i probably won't use all of it but i'll use a good majority to make this chicken and rice soup i also have my oven preheating because i'm gonna make some uh yeast rolls that i have in the freezer to go with the soup so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it all right the great thing about soups is that you literally, it doesn't take much. All you have to do is dump everything together. So I'm gonna put the heat on. I'm gonna add my olive oil. Let me know when you get back, I'll start it. Add my minced garlic. My veggies. The onion, the celery, the carrots. All right, now just mix that around into the garlic and into the olive oil. Add salt because the salt is gonna draw the moisture out of the veggies. I got Vaughn come over here to pick out some of the chicken. Don't snitch on me. <laughs> and then some pepper. And I'm just gonna let these cook up a bit. And once they soften, I will add the rest of my spices. All right, so my veggies are looking nice and soft. The onions are starting to look, look <laughs> translucent. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my chicken. Yes, <laughs> And it doesn't matter what pieces, just add however many you want. This chicken last night was so freaking good. Just gonna add as much as I want. What's great about a roast chicken is it just kind of shreds itself. So you can use this shredded chicken for a lot. Like with what's left over out of this, I think I'm gonna make some chicken salad. Which is just another simple meal. So when you can get like three meals out of a piece of meat, I say you are winning. 
nice and tender. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. Get some of that good chicken breast meat, you see? Oh, it's just gonna be so good. All right, I think that about does it. Well, you know what? I'll add a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my seasonings, garlic powder, onion powder, take some time. I should have saved some of my leftover time from last night, but I forgot. Sage. The sage, I think, really just like tops it off, in my opinion. I love sage. Such a clean flavor. Rosemary. Now, if you have all of these fresh, if you have fresh herbs, use those. Um, but I have dried right now, so that's what I'm using. Parsley. No. No, I'm fine. Just mix that up. Ooh, smells delicious. Delicioso. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of lemon to this. Just because, you know what, I love lemon. Oh, a seed fell out. Grab that seed. Add a little bit more salt. All right. I'm gonna add a bay leaf. And the rice. And now, just add the chicken broth. I'm gonna use one full thing of the chicken broth. Ooh. One, so use one full carton, and then I'm gonna add, ooh, see if I can open it. And then I'm gonna add about half of the second carton. So probably around five to six, anywhere between five to six cups of chicken broth. Oh my gosh. This is going to be delicious. Add a little bit more. Stir, stir, stir. And then just cover. You just put a lid on it. And once the rice is cooked, you're good to go. So it's about like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, and I keep it on like medium high heat. We've got my sous chef sniffing around, Abel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up my kitchen a little bit and maybe edit a video. I love it. Mwah. Look at that. Delicious. I'm gonna have to get that bay leaf out of here. But I think it's done. Now this isn't the most like soupy soup. <laughs> um, because the rice kind of uses the chicken broth to cook. But that's okay. It's really, really tasty. Then I just made some uh, Sister Schubert's yeast rolls to go with this dinner. Um, yeah, it's just a really quick, easy recipe. I love making soup out of um, out of roast chicken. Uh, you could substitute 
the rice and do orzo instead and you would have a lemon chicken orzo soup which is really good something that i make a ton and you don't have to roast your own chicken to uh use these recipes you can buy shredded chicken at the store or you could get a rotisserie chicken even easier than roasting a chicken you could get a rotisserie chicken from the store in the deli section and eat that for one meal and then use the rest for soup or chicken salad whatever um if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And you know what? I like. I need to eat. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to follow my Twitter at M and Man and my Instagram at Midwest Mansfield. And I will see you tomorrow. Mwah!